your typical setup for threading. It's uh, eighth inch pipe taper thread, and this is the medium into three set, three tap set on the taper. I just use a center in the back of this, and I'll turn this here with a wrench. As I am putting a little pressure on the ram, just enough to feed it and get it started, and everything will be straight and true. And I'll just thread it. Uh, oh, the hole at uh, number seven, the pilot hole we drilled in there. I just kind of eye sighted that sideways, you know, drill down about that four, and I'll do some checking later. And then the cube two bit drilled hole goes to about half of this uh, hexagon and then when I drill the one up from the bottom it will probably drill into that one but make a pretty decent intersection and then the number seven channel down to the jet size that'll be ample flow one eighth inch pipe oh yeah I believe that's going to be okay okay now uh, that's not that's not tight but I'm, I'm going to take it back out and put it in the milling machine and drill a hole in the side here we, we're not finished with this yet but the up to date the this is what we got so far. The now I, I will while while I'm here threading. I, this I don't think this is not the fitting. Uh, the other fitting is the one that it has the thick inside. I'll put it in the chuck, drill it with the number six drill bit, and then I will thread it. Uh, quarter 20 thread. I mean, that's a coarse thread, but be okay here actually work pretty good. And I removed the uh, ferrule and put a uh, graphite replacement packing in there so you can tighten it up. It'll be airtight when we get this done. This little item right here, that little hold down thing, that's the next thing to make. And you see this piece of brass right here? It's an eighth inch thick. I like to work with that brass. And I kind of figured I could get one of them right out of there. And this is this is what I did. I sawed that piece free, just made a line down there, sawed that free of that. That that left us with this little thing right here, and you can see I've already I've already filed that. I file that little thing right there, and that fits. Y'all see that? Fits right up on there, really good. And then, in order to get that hole in there, I just I just laid that thing down and put this thing right on top of it like that right there, and, and then took a punch and just kind of put it right in there, made a little punch mark, went over and drilled the hole in it. We're to this point. Now, the next step is this thing will be just like that. And I have to, what, the, what we, what we want to end up with is this thing to be right in here like so. If you hold that right there, put this screw in here. And this this is the one that had some damage on the on the car body, been broken at one time or another. Start that in there like that. Level that up. This would be a real good place to silver solder them two together. I'm not going to do it. The next the next thing I'm going to do is put this in the vise and bend it straight across just past this flat on this stove bolt straight down that way and uh, I'll get a measurement and cut this off uh, to be similar to this one but if you remember with that broken part down there and I did file a flat on there that needs to be longer than this one 
We're going to get her done. I wanted this fitting to be in the center. Just put a little dial on there and just put the ruler across under from point to point. Made a scribe mark and to confirm that I set the ruler on a quarter of an inch right there. Put that right up under and it comes out exactly to the point where that X crosses. Turn it around this way. It's exactly the same position confirming that it's center line this way and then you bring it over here line it up yonder and it's exactly on the center and you turn that around and come over here and put it back down yonder and uh, as you can see it's dead on center the and so what I'll do now is I'm going to punch that with a small punch that's good enough we got the punch mark on yonder, and I, I do have a uh, it's quarter inch or so drill bit in the machine. I'll uh, go ahead and drill that as a pilot hole, and then we'll, we'll, we'll open this up with that Q bit, and then we will thread it, uh, put the fitting in there, and we'll be good to go. Uh, and, and I have just made this little thing right here. Cut it out, cut it out of a piece of brass. It, uh, it came right out of there, just kind of sawed off a little sliver there, a long piece, uh, laid it out, just put the two back to back, marked it out, uh, confirming everything with the, with the square over there so it would all be in plumb, straight, even, and, 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 and workable. The, this will go in here like this, that will go up there like that. The leg is the correct, the leg is the correct length. And I did secure a brass quarter 20 thread screw lock washer. And as you can see, that's where it will live at, just right there, just like that. And as you can see, i uh, bring it to your attention here. You're going to say it ain't right. You're going to say it's crooked. Uh, this is at a, a small angle down this way just a very small the reason that it's in that position is uh, I'll have to put a war, uh, gasket right in here when I put that gasket in there it'll raise that out and then this will be level again but you don't want that to be dead level it needs to be uh, some clearance on this side right here so that it will hold it even if it's this way it will it will it will align this at an angle If we can see this, at least I'll explain it to you. The when I when I drilled and tapped this thread in here, I went almost uh, well a little bit about halfway of this measurement here, which put the end of that about halfway of the inlet pipe. And then when I drilled and tapped the inlet hole here. It intersected that halfway. Okay, I had drilled. If you remember, this was the the pilot hole. Of this it's a number six drill bit. Down. That's that's the fuel. That's the fuel vapor passage. Actually, it's a liquid at this point. It won't be a vapor till it sucks off the end down there. And I did go ahead and drill that hole in there. It's a forty thousandths, and uh, I think that's a little bit larger than what would have been on the one that did not have the medial valve in there, because you could actually regulate how much fuel these engines gets by what size. Uh, you, you you could change this jet out, but that's the only adjustment on that. So, and and I did have I had one of these broken. <laughs> needle valves that's off of McCormick M one and a half horsepower and and I was just kind of fooling with it there 
to get uh, dimensions, and I happened to find one over there that I had I had made a new one one time and kept this on the side. It had been kind of dubbed off on the end there, so I went on ahead and and tape cut the taper back on there and added some more threads to it so that it will go down in there and seat. When it goes in there, it will seat against that the taper of this drill bit. That'll be down in there like that. This this is the threaded fitting. I'm going to go ahead and put that most all that now. I'm going to put some thread sealer on there, tighten that up, and that will be a permanent position. That won't never move again. And then the needle valve will screw in here. The size, I turned this end down a little more so that I would have ample clearance between the shaft on this needle valve and the wall on the inside of the uh, fitting. There's plenty, plenty ample clearance all the way around. All of that's good to go. And a few years ago I turned up a whole bunch of these little hand wheels here just just for different, just, just, just a generic shape. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably cut this off a little bit. It sticks out a little too far once I get it all assembled. And then I'll knurl that and then press this press this on here. It, it, it's, it, there was no intentions of making this look original as it was not. So this right here should be uh, pleasing to the eye. And we're going to get her done.